Sometimes it's just helpful to have some text, any text, in your document. In this quick tip, I share four super easy ways to add random placeholder text to your document. The first three ways of adding text to your document are very similar to each other, but they produce different results. Let's jump right into it. Method one, the RAND function. I'm gonna start with a, uh, a brand new paragraph here, right at the left side of the screen. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type equals R-A-N-D and make sure that I put two parentheses, opening and closing parentheses at the end. As soon as I hit enter, I get text. Word just does that automatically. The interesting thing is, is that if I wanted to, I can adjust the number of paragraphs and I can adjust the number of sentences that are added by this command. So for instance, if I wanted, oh, nine different paragraphs and I wanted each paragraph to have five sentences, all I have to do is between the parentheses put nine comma five. The first argument indicates the number of paragraphs and the second argument indicates the number of sentences. As soon as I press enter, I get all of those inserted directly into my document. Method two, the rand old function. Now the other way that we can do this is to use rand.old. And the only difference here is the addition of the dot old. And when I press enter at the end of this, we get the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Note here that what we end up with though is the sentences run together in the second and third paragraphs. That's probably a little bit of a bug in Word here. Method three, the lorem function. All we're gonna do is replace rand with lorem, L-O-R-E-M, and I could put the number of uh, paragraphs and sentences in here if I wanted to. But all I'm gonna do is uh, do the default and press enter, and I get the Greek text. Many people who are in the marketing business will understand what I mean by Greek text. And it has uh, the default number of paragraphs, uh, which is five, and the default number of sentences, which is three per paragraph. Well, that's three super easy ways to add random placeholder text. The final method doesn't even involve word at all. It's a bit of a cheat. Game's over, I'm out of here. Wait a minute, you little cheater. I never could resist a good Simpsons reference. So, without further ado, method four, Project Gutenberg. Visiting Project Gutenberg is super easy. Just fire up a browser and go to gutenberg.org. Since its inception in 1971, Project Gutenberg has added over 60,000 ebooks to its library, and most of those are old enough to no longer be in copyright. That means that you can hop over to the site and grab the text of a very old ebook for free. For instance, you can go ahead and scroll down here and click on this link to see the ebooks listed by popularity. Then all you have to do is select one that just strikes your fancy. Once that's available, then you can check that you want to get the plain text version of it. And the text is then on the screen. All you have to do is uh, select the text that you want, or you can select the entire book, copy it, and go ahead and place it into your Word document. And you can work with it right away. There you have it four super easy ways to add random placeholder text into Word. If you like these quick tips, do me a favor. Heck, do yourself a favor and click on the red subscribe button below. Better yet, after you are subscribed, click the bell and you'll get notifications every time a new video is added to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for joining me today.